put him first. When you're tired, put him first. When you've got so much going on and it's so busy and there's so much... Guys, I just finished my date. And I am so embarrassed. I'm not going to cry. Yeah, I'm not going to cry. I'm sorry, guys. I just had to um, clean myself up a little bit. He came. He came. And so the whole thing is we went to this restaurant he wanted to go to. And it was a little too expensive. But I, I don't know. I asked my sister for money. So we went. I had this, like, I had this dress on. And I changed because I just I had this dress on and everything. And I had my hair out. Like, you know, guys, I cut it. But it wasn't like this. I had it parted a little bit. And so I went in and he was like looking around like oh like he was looking for somebody else and I was like okay I'm like hey I'm Tia and then he was like Tia I'm like yeah it's for me from BLK and then we he was like looking confused and he told me to sit down so I sat down I smiled and he didn't smile back at me and then he was like I don't look like my pictures I do look on my pictures. I don't Photoshop anything. I tell everything how it is. I, I'm going to insert out of the end of the video the picture I put in. And he was like, you know, just being so quiet through the meal and all that. He didn't even want to pay. I said, hey, I didn't bring my money with me. And then he eventually paid. And then now he cashed. He, he sent me a request to pay for the food. And that's not. I just don't understand. Why are men like this? Men are evil. Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the elders, and apostles, the great millstone who taught us the truth and truth and sincerity and truth and sin in, in sincerity. Salaki. Shalom to 144,000. All right, my name is Ibar from the prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. Um, and real quick, I want to go on in this video. Um, I got a few scriptures in mind. <clears throat> All right. Um, originally I was just going to post it up, but you know, I had, I figured, hey, let me add, add a few scriptures to it. You know, this is, this is why, why we do this anyways. But this woman here said that men are evil. Okay. And the first thing I thought was men are evil. You know, you, you just tried to catfish that man. All right. And now she looking crazy. You know, she got the ugly face. And that's, that just goes to show you that, listen, man, first and foremost, we in hell. All right. We are in hell. All right. And that guy took, you know, he, he, he obviously saw her right here and thought she was, you know, pretty or whatever. You know, and you, and you see she, she doing the little, su the little subductive eyes. All right. And then come over here and it's a whole different person. All right. And she, she's probably in her early 20s, man. All right. But this is how far. Our people have fallen, which the Lord is going to beautify his people again in the kingdom of heaven. But in this in, in this time and in, in these last days, our people um, are through. And you know how how destroyed a nation is by their people, uh, by, by their women. All right. So let me grab a few scriptures. <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 31, verse 30 says favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. All right. And beauty is vain because a woman can get, you know, dolled up with all this makeup, you know, this damn war paint, you know, and, you know, she'll seem beautiful for a night, you know, and then you wake up the next morning, you're trying to figure out what the hell, you know, what have I done? All right. So, hey, this beauty is vain right here, man. All right. You you, you, you don't want to get with a woman for the way she look. The scripture says desire her not for pleasure. It says, but a woman that feareth the Lord, Yahweh, shall be she shall be praised right and these women they don't fear you how about she was shy and then you see how she got on the internet and went right to talking shit you know she said how how, how he, he, he 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 you know he ain't want to pay right because the man lost his appetite man you know he, he lost his appetite he come out there and he, and he see this and if you dress like this for this video or this is probably what she dressed every, every other day she don't understand see she she seemed a little slow a little bit but she didn't understand that if you listen, if you dress like this for a video, you probably dress like this every other day. You got these women that go out with bonnets on their head and, you know, and, and it's really the so-called black woman. You know, just don't, you know, don't, 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 don't give a damn, really. And then they expect the man, the, 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 the wine and dine them, you know, like a damn virgin on prom night. Come on, man. All right. 
Let's grab this. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 26. I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart or mind, love, is snares and nets. These women's minds are crazy, bro. <laughs> you know, you try to rationalize the way they think in your mind, it's going to bug you the fuck out. It says, her hands as bands, whoso pleaseth the most high shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. And a lot of these guys, they get taken by these women. All right, that really, you know, it's, you know, it's, 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 um, a stretch even calling them, them women okay because you know they don't know how to serve a man they don't know how they don't know how to be a pillar of rest to a man you know in the nlt it says uh verse 26 ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 26 i discovered that a seductive woman is a trap more bitter than death and let's go back right here now all right look at these videos this is stuff you, you, you see you see the eyes a haughty woman may be known in her haughty looks and her eyelids She's trying to she's trying to seduce somebody with those eyelids, man. Okay, this is a trap, a snare. <laughs> okay, a trap and a snare. Look at this. Boom. What the fuck? What what is this? Is this even reality? But this is what goes on. You go on the internet, you see these videos of these women that look beautiful as hell, you know, and then they take the makeup off, and you know this makeup shit is is, is witchcraft, bro. They got makeup that 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 you know that that can make you lose a double chin look like she don't got you know right here look like she don't got a double chin right look at how look you know but that's the makeup the makeup does that all right the angles and the filters and the way she's you know angling her you know holding her head and then this whole time this is this right here but this makeup in particular they got makeup bro you see these women do these makeup shit they got makeup that can make themselves look a uh, 50 years younger Okay, if, you know, and, and and 200 pounds lighter. Okay, so so really it's deceitful. It says, I discovered that a seductive woman is a trap more bitter than death. Her passion is a snare and her soft hands are chains. Those who are pleasing to the most high will escape her, but sinners will be caught in her snare. And that guy, you know. I don't know who the guy was, but he, you know, hey, he escaped, man. <laughs> okay, and then he sent her ass a bill. Hey, look, you gotta, you gotta pay for this, man. Then she gonna go on a date, talking about she didn't bring her money. What? What? You know, that's somebody that, 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 that you know, he, he dodged the bullet, okay, to say the least. From there, let me go here. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter four. All right, we know about Isaiah four, uh, four and one. You know, this woman going, you know, cleave. But before you get to Isaiah 4 1, Lord, when I can grab it real quick. So, Lucky, yeah, let me see if I can grab it real quick. Um, let me grab this first, though. Because <clears throat> you women are going to be in trouble. And I owe this video. I, I want to do a video on it, but I was like, nah, because, you know, you, hey, man, YouTube probably going to flag it. But it was this woman. She was, you know, she had this cult, you know, this cult guy, you know, and she was pretty much disrespecting him all on camera and stuff. And the guy got fed up and started whooping her ass in the car. All right. So you women going to be in trouble, bro, in these last days. And this is why you need to repent and get right and seek help by Shemel Shai. Because, um, you know, your, your evil ways are going to turn back on you. This is um, Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 30. It says. Um, oh. Let me let, let me grab an NLT. It says, what are you doing? You have. You you who have been plundered, why do you dress up in beautiful clothing and put on gold jewelry? And this is our woman. This is what they do. They they put it. They, they dress up and you, you've been plundered. You know, it says, why do you brighten your eyes with mascara? Your uh, your uh, 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 primping will do you no good. The allies who were your lovers despise you and seek to kill you you see because you women are, are out of order and you've deceived a lot of men you put a lot of men through a lot of hell it says i hear a cry like that of a woman in labor the groans of a woman giving birth to her first child it is beautiful jerusalem gra uh, gasping for breath and crying out help i'm being murdered and it was it was crazy because in that video of that woman you know um that was in the car. She was getting beat, beat up by that guy. She said he's he, he, he. she said he's murdering me or he's trying he's going to kill me or something like that, you know. But she was being all disrespectful to to this guy, you know. And this guy, you know, just got fed up and started, you know, grabbing him by her and 
you know, whooping her ass, <laughs> quite frankly. Let's read it in the NLT. I mean, in the KJV, it says, verse 30, when, uh, And when thou art spoiled, and what wilt thou do? Thou, though thou clovest thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thy, thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with painting. And that's what this woman, you know, she done painted her face up, man. You know, she put on the chest, she put on the dress. Look, look at the gold. The scriptures do not lie, bro. The scriptures do not lie. Call her law, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakwadash. We have the truth. All right, we have the truth. Look at her. She got the gold on. She got the dress on. She got the face painting on, the mascara. Okay, with those seductive eyes. All right, let's bring it back. Though it says, though thy clothes thy sofa crimson, though thy deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou wrenchest thy face with painting, in vain shalt thou make thyself fair. She did all that for nothing. She made herself fair or beautiful for nothing. That guy said, Hey, no, I'm good. And got the hell up out of him and, and, and sent her, sent her, sent her, sent, sent, sent her a check. I mean, so like it sent her the bill. It says, Thy lovers will despise thee, they will seek thy life. You see, so your lovers are going to despise you. They're going to say, no, nah, I ain't, you know, he felt cheated. He said, wait a minute. She, I knew something was up when she, he, when she said that he, he sat down when they're looking around. All right. <clears throat> but this shows you that these scriptures are true. It says, um, Isaiah three, verse 16. Moreover, Yahweh, thy power. So I can moreover, the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty. And walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and menacing as they go. They making a tinkle with their feet, cause you know, proud, arrogant, you know, like like, like, like like as if they shit don't stink. And you will see a creature that look like this, still in that same, not like that, like this, that still be in that same spirit. She was rolling her eyes in this video, and you know, the, the, the audacity, the fucking audacity. Can you believe this? But this is the reality that we're in, brothers. It, this is like some damn, you know, bizarro world. This is why Paul said, hey, man, it's better that you don't marry, man. Just, hey, just, just wait for the kingdom. And the kingdom, we're going to have it, brothers. All right. It's a video it's a video going around, too, of this um, this Jake, man. You know, his woman sitting on the bed. She just, you know, making the whole room is a mess. She ain't like she ain't got up in three days. And, you know, as he's in the record, like recording, talking to her, she's throwing shit on the ground and he, he starts cleaning up that you know the room and you know she she you know just don't even care and he's telling her that he wants a divorce you know and they, and they saying it's skits or whatever but they, they, that that's the reality that jake is really going through it says therefore the lord will smite thee with the scab of the with, with, with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of zion and you saw this woman so i kind of know you, you what, what they used to say back in the day you, you call him a ball here she said by choice not by force you know but look at this the scab of the crown of the head what the hell is this what are you doing you women supposed to be cutting your hair man which is already short but you ain't supposed to be cutting your hair you walk around here with low cuts fades no your woman's supposed to have long hair that's attractive to a man if a woman has short hair that's not attractive it says and the and yahweh will discover thy secret parts all right i'm gonna um let me read this in the NLT, man. All right. Let's read this in the NLT. It says, verse 16 in the NLT. The Lord says, beautiful Zion, which is, you know, symbolic for the woman, is is haughty, craning her uh, elegant neck, flirting with her eyes. And you saw that in that video. Walking with dainty steps, twinkling her ankle bracelets. So the Lord said, so the Lord will send scabs on her head. And you got a woman got alopecia, like um, uh, Jada Smith. So she was, she was upset when, you know, uh, Chris Rock made that, jo that, that joke about her. Was that, no, or, yeah, that was Chris Rock. It says, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, will make beautiful Zion bald. And our women, as you can see, they are bald now. This is a part of the curses. It says, on that day... On that day of judgment, the Lord will strip you of always everything that makes her beautiful. Ornaments, headbands, uh, crescent, necklaces, earrings, bracelets, and veils. The Lord stripped all this from our woman. Okay, and, and, and now they're trying to get it back after they've been plundered. 
in the land of their captivity, which the Lord ain't dealing with that, bro. You, you, you know, you need to come humble. You need to, you know, you know, you ain't supposed to be wearing braids down your back. You're supposed to have your head covered, be in a meek, you know, spirit. It says rings, jewelry, uh, party clothes, gowns, capes. You know, we can go on, but I want to get right to the point. Verse 24, instead of smelling of sweet perfume, she will stink. Okay. Instead, because our woman used to, you know, they used to, you know, soak in, you know, bath water, you know, with precious ointments and oils in it. Nowadays, these women, they they, 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 they go take a bird bath, you know, or, or, or get in a shower, which a shower, you have an open crevice in between your legs. If you, you, you got water running down, that water ain't getting up in there, you know. So this man saw that. He said, you know what? I, 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 and me personally, I, I, I honestly, I would have just left if I would have saw that. I, I, I wouldn't even sit down. It says she will wear a rope for a sash and her and, and her uh, elegant hair will fall out. And this, I want to have beautiful long hair. Now it's falling out. She will wear rough burlap instead uh, of rich robes. Shame will, repay, or will replace her beauty. And that's what you saw. She was ashamed. OK. It says uh, instead of um, it says. um. It says a girdle. Oh, it says, um, and instead of a girdle, a rent, you know, these women are, you know, out of shape now. And we all out of shape, but, you know, it's just go to show you how destroyed, uh, 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 Israel is. It says the men of the, the city will be killed. Uh, that's the point. All right. So you see, so, so, so you, so you, know, you, you get the picture, man. All right. This is a, this is a harsh reality that we got to deal with. You know, scripture says, um, there's uh um not not a uh, all um all wickedness is little but to the wickedness of a woman. She tried to turn it around on all men. <laughs> men are so evil. Let's, let's play that back and I'm gonna close out. But I pray for edifying and hopeful. Like I just wanna touch on that real quick. Um yeah man and and on to the next one. Shalom. Put him first. When you're tired, put him first. When you've got so much going on and it's so busy and there's so much. Hold on, bro. You heard the music, the sad music in the beginning. Like, what the, what, what, what the hell was that about? Don't make any sense. Well, let's play. My date. And I am so embarrassed. As you should. I'm not going to cry from here. I'm not going to cry. I'm sorry, guys. I just had to um, clean myself up a little bit. He came. He came. And... So the whole thing is we went to this restaurant he wanted to go to and it was a little too expensive but I don't know, I asked myself to go. So we went and I had this dress on a cage for this dress on and my hair out. Like you know when I cut it, it wasn't like I had it parted a little bit. And so I went and he was like looking around like, oh, he was looking at somebody else. And I was like, okay, I'm like, hey, I'm Kia and then she was like yeah. Well, yeah, it's for me. It'll be okay. And then he was like, confused. He told me to sit down. So I sat down. I smiled, and he didn't smile back at me. And then he was like, I don't look like my picture. I do look like my picture. I don't look. Let me say this too, real quick, because I, I mentioned something earlier about how 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 women would say, "You call it with a ball head," and she'll say, "By by choice, not by force." You know, which really it is by force. A woman, if a woman got long hair, she cut her hair, she got demons on. You know, but it is by force because they end up, uh, you know, they end up doing this, you know, and this is why they you get those long weaves, you know, because they know they're supposed to have long hair. I just want to say that. Push up anything. I tell everything how it is. I, I'm going to insert out of any video the picture I put in. And he was like, you know, just being so quiet to the meal and all that. He didn't even want to pay. I said, hey, I didn't bring my money with me. Yeah, now he want to pay. Eventually paid, and then now he cash. He sent me a request to take the phone. And that's not... I just don't understand. Why are men like this? Men are evil. Shalom. Call her while y'all watching y'all shot. Devil on the side. She's the other than the foster care. Shalom.